Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, thank you so much for clicking into this video. My name is Chelsea, and I am a new mom to my daughter, Ray, who's now seven weeks old. And so in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of my very favorite um, baby, newborn um, essentials, things that I just, I feel are must-haves. Um, for me, so this is just my opinion, um, but I know when I was registering for you know baby items and going through that whole process, creating a registry, I was very overwhelmed um, because there's so many different baby items. It seems like you it, like it feels like you need everything when you don't. You really don't. Um, and so, if you're looking for a place to start with your registry or if you're just curious to see what I'm really loving right now, as far as baby items go, go ahead and keep watching. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. So the very first essential on my list is a book. Um, and before I got pregnant, when I was pregnant, I was just like, I'm not gonna read any books. I'm just gonna let my motherly intuition kick in and I will know what to do with my baby. As I got closer to giving birth, um, probably like a week before, I started to get really anxious um, about like, what do I actually do when I bring this kid home? <laughs> like, I don't really know how often a baby's supposed to eat. I don't know how often they're supposed to sleep. I just, I don't know. I was very anxious and nervous about that and also like nervous that I was just going to be up all night and not getting any sleep and all that stuff. So about a month or so before I had Ray, um, I was following this Instagrammer and she kept talking about this book called Moms on Call. So I kind of looked into it a little bit. Um, didn't really think too much of it until my last doctor's appointment. I remember going home after that and just feeling like, you know what, I better just give this book a try. She has raved about it, how it's helping her daughter sleep through the night. So I love this book because it gives you, it's short, first of all, but it gives you all, like everything you would need to know to raise a baby. <laughs> and this one is the zero to six month um, version. And then they have like the progressive ages all the way through top like a toddler um, but this is written by two pe pediatric nurses who have a bunch of kids as well and they are working moms like they know where I'm at they know what I need it's all in this book and I follow them on Instagram as well and I really I really love this you guys I if you could only have one thing this would be it and I will continue to rave and rave about this book in all my videos probably from here on out as long as I'm using it because my daughter is sleeping through the night basically I put her down around 9 p.m. and she sleeps till 5 30 or 6 a.m. which is when I would get up anyway um, and the other night she slept till 7 a.m. so it it's so helpful you guys it has a full-on written out schedule for you so you don't even have to like think about it you just follow the schedule and I know it may sound rigid or whatever, but it's really not. Read the book, you'll realize it's totally adaptable to anyone's life. They also have an app, um, the Moms on Call app, that is pretty helpful too, but um, I would say the book is so, so, so important. They, they even have a Facebook group, I just found out. Um, but you have to have read the book in order to join the Facebook group. Um, and that's really supportive as well. So. Check this out, my number one must have for a newborn baby. All right, next is the Halo Sleep Sack and these are very popular. I've talked about them already in another video. We've used a lot of sleep sacks and we've liked some of them like the Swaddle Me Sleep Sack, but Ray started to break out of that and um, I think it might've just been that the sleep sack was getting too small so maybe if we just got a bigger sleep sack um, of the Swaddle Me one, it would work well. But this Halo sleep sack just works so well. We are able to get her really snug and tight in there. And it's nice for when she starts to transition away from the swaddle because you can um, 
transition with like one arm out and it just makes it really, really easy that way. So we'll see. I think we're going to transition her out of the swaddle when she hits three months because that's what the Moms on Call book suggests. So I'm going to be referring to the Moms on Call book a lot throughout this video because the things that we do with her through there influence the products and the reasoning behind some of the products that we have purchased. All right, so the next thing I have on our list is this monitor. This is the Infant Optics monitor. And you can see little Ray, she is asleep there. And I really enjoy this monitor. It is really easy to use. I love that, um, like all the little features with it. I like um, that you can control the volume, you can talk through it, which I think will be really helpful when she's older. Um, I love that you can zoom in and out. I also like that on the side right here, you can, um, it'll show you, so you don't even have to have the sound on, you can, it'll just show you, um, it'll start green and go to red, um, like the level of sound. So if she's really crying, like it'll pop up to red up here. So then you don't even have to have the sound on. You can just look at it and you'll know that, you know, she's crying or noises being made. And I will have all of these items linked in the description box below. So check that out if you are curious as to where you can purchase these things. Okay, so the next thing I think is a definite must have if you have multiple levels in your house. Um, but we live in this multi-level house and so it's really nice to not have to walk all the way up to the top level where Ray's nursery is to do her changing. So we have this diaper pail and it comes with these little dividers and you can divide it out how you, I, like, I guess however it makes most sense to you. Um, right now we have diapers in here, we have um, a burp cloth and a binky and we have of course wipes and oh this is another must-have item this is a little um, changing pad cover so I put this on top of the changing pad um, and that's super nice because then if she has an accident you can just wash this and not have to like take off the diaper um, or the changing pad cover and wash that as well so I love that this has a ton of little compartments because you can never have too many of those um, I have like diaper cream in here. I have, oops, hand sanitizer over here. Um, I haven't even used this yet to its full capacity because I just feel like Ray's pretty low maintenance right now. And so right now we don't need a ton, um, but I will definitely be adding to this. I'm sure as she gets older, especially this back um, compartment. It's got like a zipper. And well, it's hard to do with. Okay, and it has these really cool little, um, what do you call these, rubber bands? <laughs> Elastics to uh, just like secure things in there. And I think that's super handy. Like you could put like a little call in there. Or you could put um, nail clippers. So yeah, we will definitely get a lot of use out of this. And this is the Molly Ollie brand. You can get it on Amazon. Um, I will link them down below and they were super, super nice and sent this to me and they also sent me a coupon code, like a little discount code. So I will go ahead and, um, put all that info in the description box below. I think the coupon code is only good for two weeks. So if you are interested in getting a little diaper caddy like this to keep in your lower levels or somewhere else around the house, so you, you, it's just way more convenient. <laughs> Um, then check out the description box below. I'll have everything listed down there. All right, next thing on the list is the Hakka breast pump. And this is pretty popular right now. I saw it a lot on social before I had Ray while I was pregnant. And it just seemed like a really neat thing that was so simple and yet so functional. And it is, it is, let me tell you, it is really convenient. So what it does is it catches your letdown on the opposite breast that you're feeding on. So if you're going to be best breastfeeding, I say this is a must have because you, as you breastfeed on one side, your other side will like leak. And instead of leaking that into like a nursing pad or something, 
you can link it into this little um, Haka breast pump. So it's made of silicone, so you can even like pump with it. Some people like exclusively pump with it, which I think is kind of cool. But um, I will sometimes just kind of pump with it while I'm feeding on the one side and you'll get even more milk. The most milk I've caught in the Haka pump, I think is about three ounces, which is a lot, um, considering it could have gone into <laughs> just like a nursing pad. So that is a definite must have. So when I was researching bouncers and swings and all that kind of stuff, I was so overwhelmed. Like I just did not know what Ray would like, what we should use. So um, my dad actually reached out to me and he's like, what is something that you really want um, that you haven't gotten yet? And this was just a few weeks ago when she was about a month old. And I heard Becca Bristow, who is a YouTuber here, um, talk about the Baby Bjorn Bouncer. So I looked it up, it had really, really good reviews on Amazon and it just, I like that it's not um, so flashy, it's just very functional. And um, there's a lot of really cool things to this, like you can fold it up flat so it travels really easily. It can recline back or go up higher and it's good for infant to like a two-year-old. It can be like a little two-year-old's chair. So um, it's super awesome. We'll get a lot of use out of it. Ray seems to really enjoy it. I like that as they kick their feet, then it'll bounce more. So when she gets a little older, she'll probably have more fun with it. But right now it's just a nice little chair for her that I can set her up in um, while I'm doing my makeup or whatever and she really seems to enjoy it. Okay, so this next item is one that I get so many questions about um, and that is the Duna car seat stroller combo. So this is a car seat that has wheels on the bottom and a button that like you can pop up and it turns into a stroller. So it's super, super convenient, super functional um, and it is kind of pricey. Um, it was $500 and this was one of the only things that we purchased ourselves. Um, but yeah, this was $500, but totally worth it. Um, especially in these newborn, these early stages of life, I think it's so convenient and we just love, love the convenience of it. I think it would be great to travel with. It's so smooth and easy to just maneuver around. Um, the only drawback with it, so if you are considering the Duna, getting the Duna, I would say the only drawback right now that I can see is that it's a little bit heavy. You wouldn't ever really need to carry it unless you're like having to lift it upstairs or something. Then it's totally worth it because you're just popping it up to a stroller and moving from place to place. So you can only use it while they fit into the car seat. And so we probably... We're hoping to get about a year's worth of use and then we'll get a different stroller car seat set up. But so far, I think it's a must have for my lifestyle, for what I like. I don't like the idea of carrying around a stroller and a car seat. I just, I love that it's just all in one. We get asked questions everywhere we go about like, what is that? That's such a unique looking little stroller. Um, and it is, it's definitely different but it's so awesome, we love it. With that, one thing that I think is a must have for the Duna, and this could be a must have for basically any stroller if that doesn't have a cup holder or anything to like. This little cup holder uh, carrying case by Skip Pop is amazing. So you just hook it onto the stroller and because the Duna has wheels on the bottom, it doesn't have any like carrying space. So this is great because you can put like your phone right here. There's two cup holders. There's a zipper. This can actually, like this zipper pouch can actually be removed. Um, but this is super convenient. Um, I think it was 25 bucks maybe on Amazon. And I think that anyone could benefit from having this on their stroller, especially if your stroller doesn't have a cup holder. All right, so we have the Munchkin diaper pail. I think no matter what, you need a diaper pail. So this one works great for us. It does smell a little bit if when you open it up, but then I got the Arm & Hammer scented little, I don't know what they are, but they you can stick them in the diaper pail and then it gives off like a better scent and that has seemed to do the trick. So it doesn't smell at all when I open it. Now it smells 
fine. I will list those as well in the description box below. But yes, I definitely think a diaper pail is a must have. So I wasn't sure about the Wubbinub. I didn't get why everyone was so obsessed with these. It seemed like everyone was so everyone was so obsessed with these. Oh, of course there's a little dog hair on it. Um, but now that I have one and we use it all the time, this is a total must have. Um, I just love that it kind of puts weight down on the pacifier so that you don't have to constantly put the pacifier back into your baby's mouth. I definitely think these are a must have, especially if your baby likes the Soothe pacifiers like Ray does. One thing that I didn't think was gonna be a must have, but totally is, are these little baby towels. And I am so glad we got these because it covers her head when we take her out of the tub. And I just think that's super important so that they're not so cold. And it's just super nice that it these, the texture of these just wick the water right away so fast. So it's able to dry her quickly. I just always feel bad when we take her out of the tub and she's all cold. So I really like these um, little towels and I think they're just great because they're small. They're for her size instead of using like an adult size towel. <laughs> when I was registering, I was also super confused on what kind of bathtub we were supposed to use or how we were even supposed to bathe her. Like, do we bathe her in the sink? Do we bathe her in the tub? Like, what do we do? So then I found this, I think it's called an angel care tub. I can't remember, but I'll have it linked below. Um, but this tub is so perfect, especially for the stage she's at right now as a newborn. It's so, so easy to clean her in the tub or in the first two weeks, we just did it on the counter and just kind of sponge bathed her um, until her umbilical cord fell off. And then now we easily just put her in the tub and she loves it. She splashes and plays. It has these holes in it. It's like mesh kind of, <laughs> but like rubbery. Anyway, so water is able to go all on her back and uh, it's just awesome. I love this little bathtub thing. I don't, it's not a bathtub, it's just an accessory that goes in your bathtub, but it's great because it's super lightweight and so I can just hang it on the side of our tub, just on the wall there in the tub and it hangs up super easily with just a little command hook. And yeah, it's super convenient, just right there when we need it and then we can hang it up to let it dry afterwards. Okay, another must have is the Baby Bjorn baby carrier. This thing is so convenient. It's so easy to use. It's got great back support. Um, I seriously love this thing and I've heard a lot of good reviews about it and then I was gifted it and so I'm super grateful that I was gifted it because they can be pricey. The Baby Bjorn brand is awesome but it is higher end, so you're gonna pay a little bit more, but it's totally worth it. So if this is something that you think somebody might want to get you, I would say just put it on your registry and see if someone will get it for you because honestly, it's awesome. I would purchase this. If someone wouldn't have given this to me, I would have purchased it knowing what I know now, like how great it is. Um, it's just so nice that it, has such good support and I've used um, baby wraps and I like those too, but I really love this carrier and I love that um, as Ray gets older, I'll still be able to use this and you can just turn her around and then she can face out and you just fold the little front flap down and I think that's super cool. I'm just, I love it. It's one of my favorite things. Another thing I think is a must have is this drying rack. So if you are gonna be using bottles with your baby, you will want this drying rack because I don't know where else you're gonna put all the bottles and accessories, especially if you have the Dr. Brown's bottles like we do, then you're just gonna have stuff all over your counter on towels, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what you would do without, or what I would do without this drying rack. It's just super convenient and I didn't think we like really, really needed it. I mo mostly was just getting it because I thought it'd be convenient, but this is like a must have for me now. Okay, and the last thing I have on my list of must haves for our little newborn is the Hatch Baby Rest. I think that's what it's called. It's basically a nightlight and a sound machine all in one. And you don't have to have this nice of a sound machine because this is 
like I think you can get sound machines like we have a sound machine in our bedroom and it's it was like 20 bucks but this one is so nice because it's you control it control it with your phone it'll grow with your baby so you can control the type the color of light it has you can time the lighting to go on at a certain time you can time the sound to go on and off at a certain time all with your phone you can also just it's a touch you can just touch the the top of it you just tap it and um, it turns it on and off or like changes the whatever setting you have it on so we just right now have it programmed for a yellow light and a like white noise machine because the moms on call book kind of mentions that babies at this stage should just sleep with white noise and so we have it so that when you tap it it turns the white noise on and then when you tap it again it turns the night light on which is like a bright yellow not a bright but a good yellow light so when I go in there in the early morning and it's dark and I need to see her to feed her I just tap it and the white noise goes off and the yellow light comes on you can program it however you want but that's how I've programmed it so that when I'm feeding her just that dim yellow light is on and then when I'm done I just tap it and the white noise comes back on Sorry if that's a lot of explaining for whatever weird reason I'm feeling like I need to explain all of that to you. But then if you tap it and hold it down, it turns it completely off. So anyway, you can set all of this, like I said, in the app on your phone, which is so cool. And so as she gets older, we'll probably adjust the settings and adjust what lighting we use, what sounds we use, because there's so many different sounds on there. There's like a dryer, there's a lullaby, there's birds chirping, waterfall, I, I think there's like forest sounds. It's, there's tons of stuff. So it's really super cool. I love it. Um, this has a ton of good reviews on Amazon and for good reason because it's awesome. So that is definitely on my list of must-haves. So I do have a few item regrets. I've kind of talked about this in one of my videos already. It's the Arms Up Swaddle. That one I kind of regret. I actually didn't purchase that one. I was given that, but that was on my registry because everyone talked about it and I thought I needed it because I thought babies like their arms up, but in the Moms on Call book, they tell you to swaddle with their arms down and she has done better with her arms swaddled down and just the Halo Sleep Sack. So that one I do kind of re regret putting on my registry um, because we used it once and haven't ever used it again. But like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, these are just my opinions. This is just what's worked for us. And so if the arms up swaddle works for you guys and your baby, then great. Don't change anything. Or if you've been really wanting to try the arms up swaddle, then by all means go for it. It's This is just our experience so far. So the Moms on Call book mentions a swaddle that they specifically make. Um, and I ended up purchasing that and it was like $30 and I regret purchasing it because the Halo Sleep Sack works better. I, in my opinion, I just think it's so much easier. So the, the Moms on Call Swaddle is just like this big flannelly kind of blanket and I swaddle Ray in that sometimes and she really likes it, but she can break out of that. And I think it's just cause I'm not as good at swaddling as the moms on call people are they are just pros and they can do that like a, like no problem piece of cake but in the early morning after I've fed Ray I'm not gonna want to like swaddle her with that blanket because it's kind of complicated <laughs> um, and I feel like you need like a bed to swaddle them on whereas with the halo sleep sack I can just layer in the crib and just swaddle her up really fast so I kind of regret purchasing that swaddle. So if you read the Moms on Call book and they, you read the part about the swaddle that they suggest, I don't know, just do whatever swaddle works best for you. And the last regret I have is something that I also get asked about a lot and that is the Docatot. And I don't necessarily regret buying this because I wasn't, I didn't buy this. Um, I was given this um, to use by my aunt um, while Ray fits into it and then I'm just going to give it back to her. Um, I think the Docatot is amazing if you're a co-sleeper and you want your baby to be safe or you 
you know, you're going to, you, you want your baby around you all the time, sleeping in like a safe, secure place. However, our baby sleeps in the crib and has since two weeks old. So for the first two weeks, I was like, oh, the doctor tot's like a must have. But then now we just don't use it a ton um, because she sleeps in her crib. Sometimes we'll have her in it lounging with us like downstairs. Um, but for the most part, we really don't use it much anymore. So if you'd ask me now if I would purchase this on my own, I'd probably say no because it's just not needed for the situation that we're in. So like I said, if you are a co-sleeper, if I was co-sleeping or, you know, she was lounging around sleeping, taping, taking naps around the house more and not in her crib, then I would say for sure the Dakota is amazing and it's a must have. But for me in our situation, I'd say, nah, we don't, we don't really need it. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I feel like this video is going to be so, so long. So I'm sorry. If it's so long, I hope you stuck with me. Thank you to those of you who did. Uh, for more updates and to follow me on a daily basis, go ahead and follow me on Instagram or Twitter. I will leave my handles up here. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will catch you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.